Now we begin tonight with the economics of the pandemic. A Columbia staple could soon shut its doors if sales don't pick up. Lebraska's Pizza, they've been in business for almost 55 years and they're running on fumes. As Alicia Niaves tells us, there is hope thanks to a loyal fan base that's helped before. Two cheese in the box. It's got the family atmosphere and I think that's what it is. You don't find many places like that anymore. It's like going to Cheers. Hey, Norm. You know, everybody wants you like, hey, Norm, you know, that's Nebraska. Going on 55 years in business and fresh off a sixth consecutive win for Columbia's best pizza. You're welcome. Nebraska's could be closing. This pandemic's going to, you know, put us under that, you know, we're struggling to keep our heads afloat, that we don't know how much longer we're going to be able to stand it, you know, stay above the water. Since the start of the pandemic, the restaurant stayed open. They should be ready in about 20. They kept full-time employees and even started making their own crust in-house after their distributor went out of business in June. During the takeout only, we were doing amazing. And that's when we decided not to take the loan. We're like, well, if this keeps up, you know, we're going to be okay. But when Oat Restaurant started opening up again, then everything just stopped. Most South Carolina restaurants are operating at 50% capacity, according to the chairman of the state's restaurant we'll and lodging association. We'll he says right now, customers prefer dining at places where they can socially distance. We thought we turned the corner, you know, several weeks ago. We opened up the dining rooms to 100%. But what we found is that the customers, they're not ready to go out to a busy restaurant. Many restaurants are staying afloat with carryout options and outdoor seating. Williams says the problem is, once the colder weather returns, the patio option will take a hit, which may force some businesses to close. In the upstate right now has done a pretty good job with, with outdoor dining, but now with the cold weather, people don't want to sit outside. I hate to see any of them close, but unfortunately, I believe it's going to be a dark winter. During the flood, Nebraska's customers helped rebuild the restaurant. People in the neighborhood love Nebraska's, and they don't want to see it go down. During the pandemic, there's hope for another revival. Just don't give up on us. You know, you don't give up, we won't give up. Alisa Niaves, News 19, WLTX. Well, the State Fair also played a big part in Nebraska's business. They lost nearly a year's income without their pizza wagon at that event.